Hey guys, welcome back to T-Bones Tech. Right now I'm filming on the brand new Canon EOS R and I'm recording 4K at 24 frames a second. And the lens that I'm using is the Canon EFS 10 to 18 millimeter lens. And this is a stabilized lens. So as you guys can see, it is definitely relatively stable as I'm moving the camera around. Now, unfortunately with the Canon EOS RP, you can't record 1080p video using EFS lenses like this 10 to 18 millimeter lens that I'm using right now. You can only record 4K or 720p. So this is what video footage on the Canon EOS RP using a EFS lens is going to look like when recording 4K video. As you guys can see, it's pretty decent, and the camera is doing a pretty decent job of autofocusing this scene. Now I'm going to switch over to the Canon EF 17 to 40 f4 L lens, which is a full frame lens, and with that lens, we can record 4K and 1080p along with 720p. So let's switch over to that lens right now. All right, so now recording 1080p at 60 frames a second with the Canon 17 to 40 millimeter. EF lens and when filming in 1080p on the EOS RP with an EF lens we're going to get a full frame image quality so as you guys can see this is a very wide lens here at 17 millimeters there isn't going to be a crop factor or anything like that and if I zoom in here again when filming in 1080p the depth of field the background is going to be absolutely beautiful blurred at f4 this Canon EOS RP is going to be absolutely fantastic for vlogging with the ability to have really beautiful depth of fields and really separate yourself from your backgrounds you're going to be able to get some absolutely amazing shots and that's because when recording 1080p we're going to be taking advantage of the full frame sensor there's not going to be a crop factor or anything like that but now it's time to switch over to 4k and give you guys a good idea of what that's going to look like all right so this is 4k on the Canon EOS R using the 17 to 40 millimeter lens and right now I'm filming all the way wide at 17 millimeters and it's still very zoomed into my face as you guys can see with my arm fully extended it's not going to be too close up it's still going to be definitely wide enough but as soon as I zoom in anywhere near 40 millimeters, it's going to get way too close. Unfortunately, when filming 4K on this camera, there's going to be a lot more rolling shutter here, as you guys can probably see. And you're just not going to find that type of rolling shutter when filming 1080p video. As you guys can also see, the backgrounds aren't nearly as beautifully blurred as they were in 1080p. And again, that's because we had that crop factor. All right, we're back to filming 1080p at 60 frames a second to give you guys my final thoughts. If you're planning on getting the Canon EOS RP for vlogging, you're probably going to want to stick to filming 1080p video. Your video files are going to be much smaller and you're going to get really nice, beautiful looking backgrounds that you're not going to get at 4 k also when filming in 4k we demonstrate that there's a lot of rolling shutter at 4k and that's going to be quite nauseating for some viewers unless you keep your camera very very still and you really don't have any fast movement or anything like that again i'm shaking the camera to you guys 1080p here and there's really not a lot of rolling shutter at all and it's going to be much more pleasing for your viewers before this canon eos rp came along i always thought that using the canon 60 mark ii for vlogging was going to be the absolute best way to vlog but this eos rp is cheaper and way lighter and much better for vlogging so now I think it's safe to say the Canon EOS RP is now my favorite camera for vlogging. Alright, I'm back in the studio and something that I forgot to mention is that when recording 4K video, you're going to be stuck with Canon's Contrast AF. It's not going to be nearly as good as Canon's Do Pixel Autofocus and I'm going to kind of give you a demonstration of that right now. As you guys can see, we're filming in 4K, so we're using Contrast Detect. And as you can see here, the camera is hunting for focus. On the more expensive Canon EOS R, Do Pixel is available when filming in 4K, just so you guys know. But the EOS RP is definitely having a hard time pulling the subject into focus. The lighting isn't extremely good, it's relatively low light in this scene, and our aperture is set to f4 which is going to make it harder on any autofocusing system. Alright, so now let's switch over to 1080p, and here at 1080p we are going to have dual pixel autofocusing available, so we are going to set that as our autofocusing system, and see how dual pixel autofocus performs compared to contrast AF. And here you can see as soon as I tap on the subjects, they're going to pull straight into focus, nice and clear, with bare Barely any lag in a nice smooth transition. And this is again why I prefer filming 1080p video on this camera versus 4K. Well I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions whatsoever make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. I will try to answer every single question that I get. If you guys like the video make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.